Don't you just hate it when you go to record and then you do the whole project and you realize you didn't record? Anyways, today we're going to be picking a target for all of our different tracks when we're taking something from the source view, source monitor, and bringing it in to our edit on the timeline. So let's just jump right in because I'm doing this for the second time. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to let you know about my website, jrtv.com, where we have hundreds of different templates available for DaVinci Resolve 17, 16, and 15. All of them are backwards compatible with the newest version of DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't taken a look, the selection of templates is pretty diverse with everything that you would typically think when you think templates, everything from titles, transitions, infographs, logo stings, slideshows, video displays, video effects, compositing elements, as well as a bunch of color pre set tools specifically for DaVinci Resolve's color page. If you're interested in taking a look for yourself, there's a link in the description. Okay, so now that's done. We're jumping over. I'm recording everything. We're good on that front. I am going to first make a timeline here and we're going to give it a couple of tracks. Okay, so we'll give it three of each. Actually, no, let's bump this up. Let's do five of each. There we go. We got five video, five audio. Now, let's say we're gonna go and we're gonna pick our first track. This is the one that we wanna add into our project. So if we play this, mm, don't know if you're gonna hear this. You probably heard it if it came through the mic, whatever. But we have audio and obviously we have video. Down here, we'll see that this uh, little box is here and this little box is here. Let me go through everything again now that I've picked that out. We'll see that that box is only on the top. Ooh, now there's three boxes. Now there's only one box on the bottom. Let's come back to the artillery. So what these boxes are is obviously they're the target and it's picking the target based off of whatever is in our source monitor uh, and what it has available, right? So obviously this one has one video track and one audio track. So if I was to add this in, boom, we can see that where it's adding it in. Now, if I want to change the location of where uh, this particular video track or audio track were, were at, we could simply just come into here and we could drag it and say, okay, we want it to be all the way up there. Hit it again, now it's up there. So that's simply all we would do. Um, same with the audio, right? Pretty simple. One thing to note here that sometimes people get a little confused with is this is how it starts out by default. And a lot of people don't really understand what those boxes mean. If I jump into something else, it still looks pretty much the same. It's just that there's a box around the outside and the, the uh, letters on the inside are grayed out now. That's how I at least initially looked at this. And what it's really saying is uh, in these boxes, this is where video track one of the source media is going to go, where audio track one of the source media is going to go. If I go on to my screen cap that I have here, we can see that we have one audio, or excuse me, one video and two audio. So it's just saying that where audio track one is gonna go and where audio track two is gonna go, right? It gets a little confusing when we start to move them. Uh, another way that we can move them, obviously, keyboard shortcuts are typically the best because they're a little quicker, is if we hold down uh, control and we hold down shift and we arrow key up and down, that's how we move the video. If we wanna move the audio, we're gonna hold down uh, control and alt or option, uh, if you're on a Mac, and we can move these down and up. And what you'll see is that when I'm moving them, it's saying that this is where audio track one and audio track two of the source media is gonna go. If for some reason we wanted to switch those, we can simply switch those, right? No problem. And we can have it go the other way around. But that's just something to note because I just thought that it was just graying out a box and I didn't, I never knew what that really was uh, until way later um, actually using DaVinci Resolve. So yes, holding down shift and control for a video and holding down control and alt or option um, to move that. And then that will work with anything that we're going to be uh, bringing media in. Now, obviously, if I'm dragging it down, I'm picking where it's going, right? 
But if we use any of these controls or we drag over and use these controls to uh, add in our media, where these target locations are is where it's obviously going to be pulled in. And it's going to only affect those areas depending on the type of replacement that we're doing. So if you don't know much about the, the different uh, 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 methods of bringing media in, that's definitely something you're going to want to take a look at because as you can see, there are a bunch of different ways to add it in, uh, but it's only going to affect the locations in which that we are. So if you're doing a replace, it's going to do the replace based on the target track. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you didn't know what this meant in the timeline, well, now you do. And uh, this is how you move it around. Same way with audio. So we wanna add this audio in, right? So I move this down to a clean, and then we could simply just go, okay, you know what? I wanna move this uh, back here. And we add it, oops, wrong one. <laughs> and we add it in, and then, uh, yeah, we have no issues there. For uh, by accident, I hit F9, which is insert clip. So that will just uh, insert it in, in between a cut and it makes space for it. And that's obviously not what I wanted to do. So that's pretty much how we would add media in on the timeline using the source view. If we were to do say, let's do a three point edit. Um, hopefully you guys found that uh, informative. Uh, let me know in the comments if you knew what those were or you had no idea or that maybe you didn't know that you could drag them around, right? So that is an, a thing that you can do as well. But with that being said, my name is JR. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace.